Wow, so many mosquitoes. Yeah, right. Oh. Okay, Same. it's good that we finish over there now. I will try to start this. Okay, in this I need area. to clean a little bit more here. Go ahead. Whoa. <sighs> okay. Ah, kind of believe. Do so? you have the. Yeah. It's really hot. Yeah, it's too hot. And I need I need some more repellent, you know. Okay. Uh, please give me the key so I go yeah, inside please. to get the. Oh, oh, the keys! I had them here. I had them here. What? Oh my goodness! You the lost keys. the keys? I have absolutely no idea uh, where they are. But they you had them, right? There. I gave it to you. Yes, I know I had them. Uh, uh, let me check here. And they could be, you know, in the other area we were cleaning before. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. It could take us forever. Okay. And I can't, I can't stand the mosquito bites. <sighs> Yeah, too many. Ah, uh, what do we do? What do we do? I know, I know. Let us pray. Oh, do you think God will care for something so small? <laughs> I think he, he, he does care. Okay. Okay? Because he cares for everything. All the right. small and the big. Okay, let us pray. Let's pray. Dear Father in heaven, thank you because you always care and you always help us. Please, this time help us to find the keys that are important for us. We pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. <laughs> okay, I will search here because oh. you were walking here. All right. Um, no, they're not here. No, they're not here. Hey, I found them, I found them. Really? Oh, yes, they are down here. Oh, fantastic. Oh. 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 oh, without God's help, it was going to be impossible to find them. Okay, it's your girl. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Wow, let's let us, pray. Yeah, let us thank God now. Mm -hmm. You pray, please. Thank you, Lord, so very much, because you are also interested in helping us in the very small matters like this one. Please bless us. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Okay. And go quickly for mosquito get repellent. Get the repellent. Yes. Wow. wow. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Oh, that was, was close, right? Yes, I was. I thought that I would not be able to come inside my house. Yes, because those keys. But the good thing, mm. when you pray, God, God answers, answers because yes. He cares for small things. Of course, mm -hmm. and we are so happy to be together again another Sabbath. Yes. Thank you for joining us in another episode of Hidden Treasures, Treasures for, for Children. Children. After a long week, yeah, our bad. week was yeah very yes, busy. Yes, my voice is not very good. I'm yeah. so sorry about that. But we are together and we enjoy Sabbath. It's a special day to be in special communication with God. Yes, and that's why we are going to sing a happy song about Sabbath. Mm, this, this is, is the, the day. day. And boys will go with Adrian, will follow Adrian, and girls will follow me. And you will start. Yes. This is the day, this is the day, that the Lord has made, that the Lord has made. I will rejoice, I will rejoice, and be glad in it, and be glad in it. This is the day that the Lord has made, I will rejoice and be glad in it. This is the day, this is the day, that the Lord has made. We're going to pray. Yes. Can you pray, please? Yes, of course. Let's bow our heads and close our eyes. Dear God, thank you so much for another Sabbath. Thank you because we can share together another wonderful story. Please be with us and bless us. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. So happy to be with you. Yes, and we have so many friends. Yes. Right? Let's start. Yeah. So we can tell them all, we can show you all of the pictures. We have from Hong Kong, okay, mm -hmm. friends that we know already, Aiden. 
Aiden and Stephanie. Stephanie. And uh, they, they are showing the activity. Yes. That we did last Sabbath. And also two little brothers. Yes. Or siblings. Uh, Titus and, and Thea. Thea. And they are showing the activity from last, last Sabbath and last Sabbath. Okay, thank you so much for sharing. We have a new friend. Yes, we have two new friends. From South Africa. One is from South Africa, Daniel. Yes, thank you so much for joining yes, us. Yes, we thank are you, so Daniel. happy. Yes, yes, and his mom sent me the this picture, beautiful picture, through the email that you can find in the Oh, in the box. description yeah. box. Yes. Okay, so Good. do that. If you want to send and share your pictures, there is It the, would be lovely to see. There is the email. Where you can do it. And the second friend is not from South Africa. Where is it from? It's from Argentina. Yes. And it's from a province that we lived before in Jujuy, Jujuy, northwest of Argentina. We love that province. It's beautiful. So thank you so much. Diane. Diane. In English. Diana in Spanish. And, and all the family. All the family. So thank you so much for sharing the beautiful picture. Mm, big and warm. Greetings for all Jujuy. Yes. And we have two sisters coming back from a long time, not seeing them, yes, right? Yes, we missed you so much, Millie and Delphi. Thank you for sharing the pictures yes, of the activity. Yes, one picture, each one beautiful. Thank you so much. Yara also sent us many pictures from two Sabbaths ago doing the helping. Okay. Thank you so much, Yara. Serving others. It's so cute. And we have Alain. Thank you so much yes. for sending again the pictures. Every Sabbath. He's, he's we love very to faithful. See it. Yes, we love to see them. The next picture you are uh, seeing right now is again from Scotland, Glasgow. Oh, nice. And we see Kiki, Kerry and uh, Schneika. Very they good. They were with us a few Sabbaths ago. Thank, Thank you for you. sending. And Ellie and Nico, right? Yes, from the <laughs> States. Thank you so much. That they, is so cute. It's so cute, the picture of them with the activity. So thank you so thank much you for, for sharing. Thank you for sharing. And here we can see Dexter and Delight, each one of them holding their activity. Really, really nice. And both of them doing the activity. So thank you so much, Dexter and Delight, for sending the pictures and doing the activities and supporting us. And the last person who shared the picture with us is Camila. All right. Uh, Camila Randas Remesano, sorry, Camila Remesano from Argentina, south of Argentina. So thank you so much, thank Camila, you. and the family for uh, always being with us. And thank you. So, and so please, good. please also find the link below where you can find the, the email, email address mm -hmm. and send the pictures. Okay, we will be waiting. And now it's time for me no, to discover the treasure. No, 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 no. It's my turn, and the kids know it yes, because. Yes, and I know it too. <laughs> I was just teasing you. Okay. Yes, I want to know what is it inside. And it's one of the last coins. That's true. We are almost, you know, we have almost all the wow. coins there. Okay. Wow. Let's discover. Let's do that. Are you ready to discover one of the last coins of the treasures that we have this um, trimester? Mm, ta -da 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 -da. Eight. Okay. We will see with Natty what is the meaning of this word. Three letters. Look, Natty. Aid. Wow, what is that? Okay, what is that? Three letters. Very simple. Yes. I think we, we can aid or help someone mm. when they are in trouble. Okay. That is true. We can be of aid. Wow. So, uh, we will put it there because this story, the story for this Sabbath, it's about someone aiding, helping and uh, serving others, okay? Okay. Let me put it here. Almost no more space. Whoa, I, I hope, hope you, you can, can see, see it. it. Otherwise you can put it here. Or maybe, no, here I think it will be. All right. And what do I have here? Oh, the ah, offering. So yes. please go quickly, find your envelope and the, the offering. offering. Do you have your envelope already in the offering? Okay, so now we can sing. <clears throat> Today I bring my offering to praise the Lord my God To tell the other children that Jesus loves them all Today I bring my offering to praise the Lord my God to tell the other children that Jesus loves them all. Can you pray? 
pray, please? Yes, of course. Let's pray. Dear God, thank you so much because you give us so, so many things. Lord, thank you because we can give you back some of it. Bless these offerings and help with these offerings reach more children so Amen. they can know that you love them and you want to save them and their families. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. And before going to the lesson, oh. what do we do? We open our Bibles. Yes. So go quickly and find your Bible too. If you don't have it by your side, maybe you already have because mm. you know the routine. <laughs> exactly. Get your Bible ready so we can sing, I open my Bible. I open my Bible book and read God loves me, God loves me. I open my Bible book and read God loves me, God loves me. And what about the lesson? I don't know. Are you going to tell the no, lesson? No, are you? No, I'm not going to tell the story. Are you children going to tell us the lesson? The story? Maybe. <laughs> hmm, no, yeah. today we have... A special guest. A special guest. Auntie Manuela. Yeah, Auntie Manuela is the mother of Elias and Elena and they are our friends. Yes, they, they, they help, help us. us with the song, My Boat is So Tiny. So let's enjoy this amazing story. Okay, let's go. Happy Sabbath, children! What a pleasure to be with you in this morning or whenever you're watching this video. Uh, my name is Manu. You can call me Auntie Manu. It's easy. Well, the story for today is called The Floating Axe Head. What a weird title, right? I'm very intrigued about this floating axe thing because it's very weird and I'm going to show you some things in a minute that will help you to understand better. And the memory verse for today is from the Bible and it says like this, serve each other with love. What a nice advice for us to learn. The story goes like this, it's about Prophet Elisha. You have been hearing about him in previous stories from this channel. He was uh, someone that got used to help a lot of people, right? And in this lesson, we will see one more story that he helped someone with a very small problem, maybe, for others, but for the person in this story was a, was a huge problem and got care and Prophet Elisha care and we will see how it goes. Prophet Elisha was visiting a school, a prophet school. This was a special school when everybody that wanted to learn more about the Bible and about Jesus and the stories in the Bible to be able to teach others will come and train and learn and then come back to their own cities and places and teach others. That was, that's because it was called prophet school. Well, so many kids and children and older people were interested in coming to learn that the school was too small already and nobody could enter. There was no place for seating and it was so uncomfortable to learn in such a crowded little place. Prophet Elijah was there observing and he was also worried. So he had an, had an idea and he said, let's go and move the school to the, next to the Jordan River. There, there is more place, more space, and also there's a lot of trees that we can cut to make wood and build a bigger school. Oh, everybody was so excited. Can you imagine some kids and boys thinking about going to the Jordan River, picking trees, cutting them, working together? Oh, was super excited. Except for a little boy in the story. He was excited about learning and about the bigger school, but he, has, he had no axe at home. His daddy had no axe. He had no uh, tools for help and for working. 
he was worried and a little bit discouraged maybe but back home his mommy maybe gave him the idea of going to the neighbor and ask for a, um, an axe to borrow an axe the neighbor was not very convinced he said okay I lend you the axe but you have to take very good care of it and bring it back in one piece Yes, sir, yes, sir, I promise, said our little boy. I will take good care of the axe and I will bring it back. He was so excited. Next morning, he was the first one in the school with the axe ready. Everybody came, Prophet Elisha came, and all together went down to the river. Each one of the uh, boys pick a tree the more the bigger tree the the, the most straight tree they could find and start cutting chuck 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 you have to be strong in order to cut a big tree and you have to put strength and you have to go fast and a little boy was very um excited and putting all his effort in this task till one moment when with one fast heat the head of the axe the axe head flew away and splash in the middle of the river it wasn't a nice clear we river jordan river was always muddy and you cannot see through the water so in that moment our boy melted down he started crying and worrying about his neighbor about the money to pay for the axe and he couldn't even spot the axe in the muddy river he he was hopeless but then came prophet elisha and looked at him and said don't worry we are not alone here working for ourselves we are working with Jesus, we are helping one another, you are not alone. Let's fix it. Show me where the accent felt. There, in the middle of the river, said our, our little boy. Don't worry, have faith. Then Prophet Elijah cut a little piece of wood and throw it in the middle of the river. And then some seconds of silence and expectation, everybody was looking to the spot and floating up came the axe head, floating next to the little piece of wood. And there's where I want to stop because I cannot understand how a, an axe head can float. Axe head? Axe heads are made out of metal, maybe iron or something like that back then. If you have a piece of something made out of iron at your house, maybe a spoon or something made out of um, um, metal, you can go and pick it up and see for yourself that it's not light, it's heavy, heavy material. And I'm going to show you right now, because I brought here a container with water on it. And you can, you can do this at home if you want to with mommy's or daddy's help. You can pick um, any container or even a cooking pot or anything that you can put water on it. Or you can do it while you are taking a, a bath. And we are going to throw in this water container some objects of different materials to see what happens if they float or if they don't float if they sink let's see i have here first a little piece of uh, plastic is a building block let's see what happened it looks like it could float but is kind of floating in the middle of the way let's see with some other thing here i have a fry egg made out of a fabric it's a toy let's see what happened if we put it in the water it flowed because it's actually pretty um pretty light let's see what about this plastic plates 
they float. They float because they are made out of plastic. Let's see what happened with stone. This is an elephant made out of stone. It's very heavy. Let's see what happened. Whew, it goes straight to the bottom of the container because it's heavy. And what about a wooden spoon? Let's see what happened. It floats like the little piece of wood that Prophet uh, throw into the water. It float, it can float, it's light. But what about metal? Can you hear? If this is metal and it's a little bit heavier. Let's see what happened. It goes straight to the bottom, straight to the bottom. I have some coins here also to show you. Let's see, look, and it doesn't come up. Straight to the bottom, even that little coin right there, straight to the bottom, and it doesn't come up floating. It just doesn't work like that. Heavy metal things go straight to the bottom. It's just how nature works. So how is possible that this happened? The axe head floating. Oh, little boys and little girls, it was a miracle. Because miracles doesn't only happen for big, important, and huge stuff. They also can happen to help little boys and little girls with little problems. Because Jesus care. And when we care one for another and we serve one another and when we are doing nice stuff like helping mommy and daddy at home with little tasks like um, comforting a friend that is crying or sharing our toys or spending some time with our grandpa and our grandma nice little things that we can do to serve others God will look at us with care and with big interest and he will be willing to help us with our little problems. Things that worried our heart are never too little for God to help us. Have a happy Sabbath. Thank you, Auntie Manu, for this wonderful story and for the activity so we can see without splashing, okay, without making a mess, we can experience for ourselves, by ourselves, what sinks and what floats. And now we have the activity. I'm so excited because I love it. We are going to do these acts. All right, and see, here we will write down the memory verse and on the other side we will write down God cares for small things too, because he does. So, what are we going to need for this activity today? Okay, we're going to need two pieces of paper, two, uh, they can be, you know, the ones that we recycle, the ones that we don't need anymore, and color pencils, glue, uh, scotch tape, scissors, a marker, and a pencil. So let's start. I will put everything away but the color pencils and the one paper. We're going to start coloring by coloring one of these. Okay, we'll choose brown, uh, this one maybe. and I will color it really fast. You will be amazed. Okay, now we can do some of these little marks, like if it's um, wood. And we're going to roll the paper. You don't need to do it too small and also not too big either. Okay. When you finish, you have to add some glue here. Let's just spread it a little bit. 
and now you can see we have the handle for the axe well let it sit here and I will show you what's next the other piece of paper we are going to fold it in half like this carefully and now just like if we were going to make a boat about here we will see okay we will try and see a bit more maybe mm -hmm. around here and if you pay attention we need to leave this gap in between uh, because we will keep folding and otherwise we won't have the space to do it so hold it and fold in half again here now the other side we try to hold it first and then fold it now what I like to do is open everything and color here okay this area okay so now we are going to fold it again the same way we did before and we almost have the head of our axe now you see these two uh, little triangles we will fold them too and hide them inside We're going to glue the inside. As I said, I like to spread it a little bit with my finger, even though it's not really pleasant, but. Mm -hmm. Because it's quite sticky then. And hold it firmly for a couple seconds. I like to cut a little bit this now a fun part you think about where do you want the head and we're going to mark okay with a pencil here are my marks now I will try to flatten a little bit and cut. Don't go too deep, okay? Just a little bit. Just a little bit. The other side. And now I'm going to try to make it round again. And get these inside. So you see, I can make a clean cut. Careful there, huh? If you cannot handle the pair of scissors, please ask mommy or daddy to help you or some grown-up there. Okay, all right. Okay. Now you can see it's open. You can see through. Hmm? And we're going with the marker to make a kind of a cross. We are going to make these lines. We're going to do it here on the other side. See? And with the tape, we are going to make it a little bit neater. We will place the tape here. As you can see, 
now to hold all of the papers together so they won't be messy okay okay now we have look the the head we can put it into the handle and now the only thing missing is to write down the memory verse it says serve each other with love so I'll write it down and on the other side we're going to write God cares for small things too And now the idea is to tell the story to parents, to friends, to family members and you can keep it a little bit loose like this one. So you, when you tell the story about our friend trying to cut the, the tree and whoops, the head just flew up. So you can do that when you tell the story and if you don't want it loose if you just want to keep it as a decoration to remember the story you have to only add some glue here okay and press it I like to keep it loose so I can tell the story and make that let's do it again Ooh! and the prophet came to aid that little boy so have fun and tell the story and send us the pictures so Natty, what do you think about the story? Wow, it's an amazing story. An amazing and story. It tells us again that God cares about little yes, things. Yes, mm -hmm. like Auntie Manu said. She mm -hmm. said, God cares for everything, especially the little things. And also, God cares like, like he did for the keys, yes. right? Outside. Like we pray and then we could find a keys. Of course. Mm -hmm. Now, before we have the three new questions about this uh, lesson, let's review if everyone got the oh, right yes, answers. Yes, okay. Yes, yes. So do you remember the last uh, Sabbath the questions we had? They were, um, who prepared the soup that is true? Okay, who did? The servant of Prophet Elisha. Very good. Now, question and number two was? Why the students could not eat the stew? Because it was poisonous. Yes. It, it had poison inside. That leads us to question number three. Yeah. What did Prophet Elisha put inside of the stew? What was it? Flour. Yes. Something very strange. Yes. Like this. Sap yes. Too. Yeah. We have three questions as well. Are you ready? Question number one. Why did the students went beside the Jordan River to cut trees? Why they had to cut trees? What for? Question, Question number two. two. What happened to the boy in our story? Yeah, what, what happened, happened to, to him? him? Okay. And number three. <clears throat> Question number three. What did Prophet Elisha do to help this boy? All right. Now okay. the challenge is set. We hope that you can reply to those questions. Answer those questions and send us maybe a picture like Yara did. Yes. That's a very, very good way. Or maybe a video like in the Spanish version, uh, Mila and Delphi did. And now it's time to sing a beautiful song. Mm, yes, because when, when Jesus, Jesus is in the family, we are very happy. So it's happy home. Mm -hmm. With Jesus, With in, the Jesus in the family. With Jesus, Jesus in the family, happy, happy home, happy, happy home, happy, happy home. With Jesus in the family, happy, happy home, happy, happy home. With Daddy in the family, happy, happy home, happy, happy home, happy, happy home. With Daddy in the family, happy, happy home. Happy, happy home with mommy, with mommy in the family. Happy, happy home, happy, happy home, happy, happy home with mommy in the family. Happy, happy home, happy, happy home with brother, 
with brother in the family. Happy, happy home. Happy, happy home. Happy, happy home with brother in the family. Happy, happy home. Happy, happy home with sister. With sister in the family. Happy, happy home. Happy, happy home. Happy, happy home with sister in the family. Happy, happy home. Happy, happy home. Happy, happy home. Happy, Very right? nice. <laughs> yes. And of course, I mean, this song you can put your, your name, name or... Yes, yeah. you can name grandma. You can get, include anyone. Yes, yes, exactly. The important thing is that Jesus is in the family, right? Then everything is okay. Mm. Can we pray? Yes, let's pray. Dear Father in heaven, thank you so much for another Sabbath. Thank you for your blessings and thank you because you come to our aid to help us and to um, be with us when we have big problems, especially when we have little problems. And keep being with us as we enjoy the, the hours of the Sabbath. Bless all of our friends and their families, we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. And it's time to say goodbye, but yes. we will see each other next Sabbath. Okay. In another episode of Hidden, Hidden Treasures, Treasures for Children. Bye share, bye. Don't please. Forget. Yes, don't forget and to send share. And the pictures. Bye bye. Happy Sabbath. Happy Sabbath.